Yo, what's good, everybody? Welcome to NBA Nightly Picks. It's your boy C Boy Balling. You know what I'm saying? Uh, no CJ, possibly for one more day. Um, should be seeing that guy, guy again soon. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I went six and four yesterday, so that puts my record at 258 wins and 137 losses. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, it's five games on tonight. But before I do that, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, join the discussion, post a comment. We're live here at game time. So if you're watching my video for the first time, we're live here at game time every night. There's a basketball game. We do these videos every day. You know what I'm saying? So um, and don't forget, we like thumbs up. So don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Um, anyways, five games on tonight. It's some exciting games, some fun games on tonight. So let's jump into the action. Uh, the first game is the Denver Nuggets versus the Denver Nuggets versus the Washington Wizards. Uh, Carmelo is back, guys. Um, no more trade um, rumor for Carmelo, but the guy is back. The guy hit a career high six consecutive, um, well not consecutive, six th three pointers in the third quarter and finish it finished with 36 points. So I'm saying Melo is back. Washington been playing. It's gonna be a fun game in Washington because Washington still haven't won on the road yet. They played last night, so fatigue probably gonna get them tonight. They're probably gonna be tired. They played New York last night and lost to New York, so um, they have a pretty good home record. So this is definitely gonna be a fun game to watch. But I'm taking the Denver Nuggets to win this one because Melo is back. The next game is the is the Cleveland Cavaliers versus the Boston Celtics. Cleveland played last night. They've been leading the whole game. I don't understand why they did not win that game. They they they, they choke at the end. That's why I picked the New Jersey Nets. Luckily, because that could have went the you know that game could have went either way because both of those teams are consist um, inconsistent. Um, but Cleveland is in trouble tonight going against a championship caliber team, the Boston Celtics. Uh, no no O'Neal, no Shaquille O'Neal, but shouldn't be a problem for them to, to demolish Cleveland by 20, 20 plus. They're probably going to try to embarrass them worse than the Lakers did. You know what I'm saying? So I like the Boston Celtics to win that one. For all you betters, take Boston no matter how many points they say minus. Boston Celtics got that one. The next game is game of the night. The Clippers versus Dallas um, at Dallas. Uh, no Eric Gordon for the, for the Clippers. He got hurt, so he might not be playing. Uh, Dirk. Dirk is not finished healing. He's still not finished healing yet. He's struggling with his shot attempts. His, his um, point average is four points down. Um, he's definitely struggling. Uh, Dirk, um, the Mavericks also signed Pajer Stojakovic, and but he might not be playing tonight. He might not be playing tonight. So this is what's gonna make this game interesting. How about Blake Griffin coming off a thirty-point performance? 18 rebounds and 8 assists, career best 8 assists, almost a triple-double for Blake Griffin. Uh, this is definitely going to be an interesting game, but just the fact that no Eric Gordon, I don't think the Clippers is going to have enough firepower to get it, get the job done tonight. So I'm taking the Dallas Mavericks, and uh, that's my pick for that game. The next game is the Bobcats versus the Kings. Uh, the Bobcats have been, um, Bobcats had, is coming off a horrible performance where their star players didn't get to to shine, I guess, you know what I'm saying? The guy the guy scored half of his average. Gerald Wallace scored half of his average, which he only averaged in like 16 points, so he only scored eight in the game, you know what I'm saying? So uh, they're going against the Sacramento, uh, Sacramento team, which is coming off a win versus Portland last night. But you know Sacramento is, is the third worst team in the NBA right now. They're very inconsistent. So I'm going to take the Bobcats. The Bobcats got a new coach and the Bobcats, they're probably, they're going to bounce back. This is, a, this should be a win for them versus the, the very lowly Kings. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the next game is game of the night. The Utah Jazz versus the heavyweight champion of the world, the Los Angeles Lakers, home of the best player on the planet, home of the best coach on the planet, uh, home of one of the best power forwards on the planet, uh, Lamar Kardashian, home of Lamar Kardashian, home of Andrew Bynum, you know, this is where it's at, out in LA, this is where they shoot the movies at, you know what I'm saying? Uh, anyways, let's jump into this game. Utah... The Utah haven't went 0-5 on a road trip in almost six years. In almost six years. They'll try to avoid that by beating the Lakers at Staples Center, in which they haven't done in five years. 16 tries. They haven't beat the Lakers. Kobe Bryant is averaging 31 points against the Jazz. Against the Jazz and 
Uh, this is going to be a fun game because last time these guys played, they played in Salt Lake City. Kobe put up 30-something points. Jazz still won. So this is definitely going to be a fun game. But I'm taking the Lakers to win this one at home because they're having a balanced attack. Uh, Andrew Bynum is back. He's putting up good numbers. Lamar Odom is putting up numbers. It's all balanced right now. Kobe don't need to put up 30 points if you don't, if you don't have to. But if he needs to, he can put the weight on his shoulders if he have to. You know what I'm saying? And that's my NBA picks. Thank you for watching NBA Nightly Picks. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Join the discussion. We're live here at Game Town. Remember that. And uh, we like thumbs up, so don't forget to thumbs up my video. Thank you for watching. Deuces.